out of YouTube. It's the Barefoot Pipe Smoker. Once again with a uh, cigar. This time a uh, Macanudo Ascot, which uh, comes in a 10 of 10 at uh, Walgreens in my, uh, in my town. About $20 for the 10, so not too bad. I like uh, I like these. I mean, Macanudo's not exactly a complex cigar, but I'm not a complex cigar guy, so it kind of works out. It's a bit of a wash. But uh, man, you'll have to excuse me tonight. I'm uh, I'm still a little bit tipsy from uh, I've had God, I've had like three shots of Sailor Jerry's rum, and I had a more than a pint of arrogant bastard ale, which uh, is almost twice the alcohol content of the, of the average beer. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. <sighs> Last week I filmed a little, uh, little video of uh, why, what, what I consider to make a great horror movie. And because of my own absent-mindedness and laziness, it's probably not going to be posted until, like, yesterday or so. Uh, but, uh... <clears throat> anyway, um, I thought that I would post an addendum because I uh, did a really bad job of describing what I consider to make a great horror movie. And over the last week I've thought about it some more and I uh, actually came up with a pretty good articulation of it. Ultimately, I think that the best horror movies realize that the greatest effect is going to be from our own imaginations. The ones that, you know, because nowadays there are so many horror movies that show way too much of the monster, or they show way too much blood, or they show way too much violence. And like I said in the last video, I just don't really care for, uh, this centered. I don't really care for slasher movies. But, uh, yeah, I don't really care for slasher movies. So, ultimately, for me, as I said in the last video, it's the ones that focus more on atmosphere than on actual shocks or uh, scares. And so many movies, uh, like the, uh, like the first Alien movie relies so much on the imagination of the viewer. And there are a lot of other movies that do that too. Just any movie that uh, focuses more on atmosphere than on, uh, than on blood and guts will ultimately uh, rely more on the viewer's imagination to supply you know, to, to fill in the gaps, as it were. I remember reading about one uh, horror movie back in the, back in the, uh, I believe it was in the 50s. There, it had so much great suspense leading up to the final, you know, you finally get to see the monster. And it was so cheesy looking that audiences in the theaters just started laughing. And the guy who created the, who, who was responsible for the creature effects was just heartbroken. So ultimately I think <clears throat> 
I respect the movies a little bit more that show you a little bit less, I guess is, I guess is one way of saying it. But, uh, I think that about sums it up. And I am uh, probably going to sign off before I uh, say too many stupid things in a row. But uh, y'all have a good night or a good day or whatever and happy trails.